if y'all want to know how to get these waves let me know heatless heatless may i add y'all know me oh who is she who's that girl la, 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 who's that girl jazz is that girl la, 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 la. Oh my gosh, y'all. When you feeling yourself a tad bit too much, that's me and proud to be. <laughs> It is your girl Jasmine Fox back at it again for another video okay today as you can tell by the title I'm going to be answering a very very pretty frequently asked question about basically how I dyed my hair what I used um, how I got no damage and I did it with no bleach okay so I hope that you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe also don't forget to click that little bell right next to the subscribe button to notify you every time I post a video so you can be the first ones to watch okay so I hope you guys ugh. so I hope you guys enjoy this video and have an amazing Okay, so the first question always asked is what color did I dye my hair and what did I use, okay? It's got like brown accents. You guys should be able to, I mean, it's not nothing too crazy intense, but you know, I just really wanted a little bit of life, you know, to my dark hair that I've had forever. So I had just basically added some brown highlights and accents all over my hair so you can kind of see the light kind of picks it up sometimes reddish sometimes kind of red brown so I don't know but it is brown okay what I used is this right here by dark and lovely if you guys can see I'm going to try to add some better pictures later on in the video this is the number 384 in light golden blonde for picking up the box you would be like oh my gosh because i definitely didn't want to do nothing blonde typically if you ever want to change your hair color and you have naturally black hair or very very dark brown hair most hairstylists recommend you to lighten it up with bleach first in order to get it a different color however you don't always have to use bleach okay you don't bleach is very very harsh on the hair I knew that I wanted to dye my hair but I knew I didn't want to do nothing crazy like you know applying a bleach bleach is super super harsh I've heard plenty of horror stories of people's hair falling out it's just not you know not my first pick okay now keep in mind let me also say I'm not a hairstylist I'm not no hair technician or whatever license you know things they say I'm just showing you guys what I did what worked for me and how I you know, lightened up my hair some without using bleach, okay? So don't take what I'm saying as the gospel. I'm just showing you what I did, okay? The key is, if you have super, super dark hair and you're trying to lighten it up, you would think, okay, I just want to go and get a uh, hair color with just like brown. It just has like a dark brown. But no, if you really want to lighten your hair up, you're going to need to choose a very, very light blonde, like a blondish color because it's going to take a whole lot more for us jet black hair pe people to lighten up our hair, okay? It even shows you on the sides the color results that should be expected, the expected color result. They have light brown, how light brown should end up, how medium brown to dark brown should end up, and how darkest brown to black should end up. And I can say, hopefully you can kind of see that, I can say that honestly, you know, it. this is real. You know, what it says, it does. Um, you know, for me, this was my first time ever dyeing my hair. So when I saw this, it was like, okay, are they just hyping it up? Are they just saying it's going to end up looking like that when it's really not? But no, it, it's actually pretty true to what it says. Expected color result for my dark hair was basically kind of like this, like a reddish, orangish, browny type color. So... I, I liked how this was pretty honest about that. Let me also say that Dark and Lovely is specifically formulated for natural hair. It's designed for natural hair only. It even says only. Spe 
specifically formulated for hair that has never been, you know, chemically processed and basically for those, I think, like amateurs who have never bleached their hair and don't really want to go that route but still want to, you know, lighten up their hair color. So this was perfect for me because I did not want to deal with the effects of a harsh bleach or possibly damaging my hair, okay? So, this however, let me keep in mind though, although this doesn't contain bleach, it does have some other stuff in it, like the um, hydrogen peroxide, ammonium, ammonium chloride, and stuff like that. So, it does have some chemicals because you have to think I mean, unless, I mean, I haven't found a way yet to lighten super, super dark hair, like 100% naturally, but lightening up your natural hair color, you're gonna probably need something a little chemically because you're lifting up your hair color and that's not a natural process for our hair. That's not something our body is used to. said even though this did include you know some hydrogen peroxides and stuff like that I still think it's a great product because it didn't leave with leave me with any damage okay now again y'all know I dyed my hair by myself okay um oh okay I'm sorry it kind of spilled on my hand okay but yes I dyed my hair by myself and you know that sounds kind of crazy but I feel like if I really follow the directions, if I research it, like, you know, I can do it how I want to do it. And I, you know, wasn't trying to go to no hairstylist to dye my hair because I was still unsure if I wanted to do it anyway. So anywho, this was what I have left over from dyeing. If you can kind of see there's some in it. But it basically came with uh, the cream developer. It also came with, I think, like two other small packets and one was like a powder. So I guess that was like the formula for lightning and stuff. You just mixed it into the, the little applicator bottle and basically you have at it, okay? I don't remember if my hair was dirty or clean before doing so. Oh, okay, so it says part dry unwashed hair. So yeah, it should be dirty. So mine's, I'm pretty sure mine was like, kind of like dirty and stuff. Let me be careful because I felt a little something on that. Okay, so. So basically, I had used gloves, of course, and then also what I loved about this, this actually came with a conditioner, right? A conditioner to apply directly after you dye your hair. So I thought that was pretty awesome because it kind of took away the overwhelmingness of dyeing my hair away because it shows that they do probably know what they're doing, you know, and they know about natural hair. Yeah, I think I actually put all the conditioner in my hair. So, part your hair, that's what I did. I parted my hair, I put it in, in based upon like four sections, and I really just winged it. Like I just, first, let me be honest, first I was a little scared, okay? So when, when, I, when I was putting it in, I was kind of being a little light-handed. Like I was starting on my ends first. You do want to start from ends up, but that's how I started okay so at first I was like okay I'm putting it in then I was like okay I, I really didn't see nothing happening like right in the beginning so then I ended up going a little bit higher and I remember I went a little too high almost to my scalp okay and that part has grown out a lot thank god but yeah I, I just basically did it on my own I remember my mom was in the bathroom so I was kind of trying to ask her too how it was looking and if it was you know if I had it all even so she was also helping me making sure that it was evenly distributed so um, I, I just basically kept going back and forth to the bathroom and just kind of trying to see how it was lighting and it happened just progressively not too fast not too slow but I know that if I would have left it on even longer, I probably would have gotten even lighter results. And they do actually recommend that you test a little strand of hair before you uh, actually dye it. So I remember I did that and I saw how light it could get and I was like, wow, okay. After I put it in, I rinsed it out then in the shower and basically um, I 
did rinse it out a little bit faster than it recommended I believe because I started to panic a little bit once I saw that my hair was really lightening up and and again even there was times I would go back to the bathroom and I would have to like put some more on certain pieces because I'll be like oh I forgot like this spot isn't lightening up so it was a little crazy but it wasn't it wasn't you know like really really bad for a first timer I'm, I am proud of myself with how I did okay so after rinsing it out I put in the conditioner and then I was done so moving forward I didn't experience any damage okay I didn't experience any damage I think that my hair I can say may have been a little bit drier but again I moisturize my hair all the time so you know that kind of fixed that for me even now like I may notice sometimes it's a little dry like I do have to put more moisture into my hair but that's something I've always done anyway so compared to having my hair fall out from bleach or having like super super damaged straight ends and stuff just the fact that my hair is still curly there was no change in my curl pattern and I still got you know kind of some color the color that I wanted I think that it was a great you know experience and a great vibe because it definitely walks you through the directions well and if you're following the directions and making sure that you're watching your hair and stuff you you should be fine using this okay so this doesn't involve bleach but it does involve a lifter a hair lifter so let me just be honest from my understanding and from what my research showed me a hair lifter is different than bleach like bleach is just ooh, like really really bad like so i i just knew that i wanted color but i wasn't about to do nothing crazy okay to get some brown in my hair i also wanted to say before you decide to dye your hair okay make sure that you have researched okay not just listen to me not just listen to other videos do your own research make sure you know the pros and cons of it and you have plenty of people with videos where they keep it real and they tell you okay once I dye my hair this is what I experienced you know because everybody's hair is different you want to make sure that you know the cost of the decision and you know the benefits as well the benefits is that you know you get your little hair you get your color you're happy okay but you also need to know the fact that you will have to put in more effort to take care of your hair after you dye it most likely for me like i really really had to apply more moisture make sure i was deep conditioning more often and now like i literally like typically at least four times a night three to four times a night like I'm dousing dousing my hair in like shea butter and olive oil and like plaiting it after I get out the shower or something just to make sure that it's moisturized because I'm gonna keep it real there are parts of my hair like especially the brown parts it does it can easily get very very dry um compared to you know my natural color areas I knew that I also knew of the um, risks of not getting my curl pattern back even though I'm not using a bleach it's still a chemical an unnatural chemical on my hair so I mean everybody's hair is different but there is a risk that my hair pattern wouldn't come back or my hair would start falling out I remember people a lot of people talked about times how their hair started falling out and shedding more and stuff like that so make sure that you do your research make sure that you know your hair y'all know how I how I'm still on my hair journey and all that type of stuff so I have always kind of for the past two years or so like really wanted to do something different with my hair however I knew that I wasn't ready okay I knew that because my hair was still damaged still heat damaged and not as strong as yet it would be very dumb for me to put it through something as strenuous as a hair lifter or a bleach or something when I know that my hair is not strong enough to handle that so towards the mid end of last year which is when I dyed my hair in like probably like August or so I knew that I was about to dye it I knew I was probably about to dye it very very soon at that time so I knew that it, I had to do my part and do everything I knew that I could do to make sure that I was 
well prepared my hair was well prepared for going through that process that may seem very like overthinking it and stuff but it's true y'all if you really value your hair you value the, the effort and the work you put into it you want to make sure if you're going to do something drastic it's worth worth it okay and you need to make sure that you're doing your part taking care of your hair so that when you do put it through this it will bounce back okay and those curls will bounce back so i really you know made sure that i was strengthening my hair by moisturizing it deep conditioning it and all that stuff so that way when i did finally make the decision to dye it i would know that i did my part and i was well prepared like i said before okay so even with that being said though i do feel like this is a great brand for someone who's trying to dye their hair and they're natural however i can't say 100 percent that your hair pattern will not change from from the reviews i've seen the girls who i've seen try dark and lovely i haven't seen nobody's curl pattern change but again i just don't want to put that out there like that's just not going to happen because still the possibilities are endless and everybody's hair is different i do say that this is a great dye hair hair color dye brand for you know wanting to dye your hair but i also have to say another percentage of my hair not getting damaged was probably because i did take care of it a lot and i really made sure that it was strong enough to handle the dark and lovely okay i made sure that my hair wasn't weak basically okay and you know when your hair is weak so if you're going through your journey you're just beginning your natural hair journey and you're getting bored because you know you've got those straight ends and you're like okay i just need some life like this is boring i'm impatient you know because that's how, kind of how i was feeling going through your journey can kind of be like kind of boring after a while and you're like okay i need some life to this i can't keep bunning it up i need something but even with that i knew that i had to be patient and at least wait till my ends started curling back and until I really saw some improvements until I made the decision to die okay so that is basically it <laughs> that is basically it I hope that this video is really really quick because I didn't want it to be too long but I again have been getting many many questions on how I dyed my hair what color I dyed it with what did I use <sighs> So yes, okay, that is all the answers. One thing I can also say about Dark and Lovely, it does have some moisturizing things in it, but again, never just solely depend on, okay, this is supposed to be something formulated for natural hair, so there's no risk for me. No, you should still do your part and make sure that you know your hair, do your research, and make sure it's strong enough so you can handle it, okay? So yes i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that answered all of you guys questions on how i dyed my hair with no bleach and got no damage okay and if you guys want to know actually i've already planned on doing that video but like i'm going to be doing a video on um basically my um my deep conditioners i, I used and all that type of good stuff so you guys can see what i used and you know when i'm always referring to the summertime how i really went in deep conditioning you can see exactly what products were just miracle workers for me okay so <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video again please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you guys want to know um my favorite curly hair products favorite deep conditioners things that work for me please don't forget to like this video and comment down below whatever videos you guys want to see in the future okay and i hope that you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching